The Simpson Hybrid is an ergonomically designed head restraint that restricts the helmet's forward movement in a crash. For proper fitment of a Simpson FHR device, follow these simple measuring instructions. To correctly measure a male for a hybrid device, use a cloth measuring tape and measure across the pectoral muscles with your arms down to your side. Remember to keep the tape as parallel to the ground as possible and pull the tape just tight enough to keep it from falling. When possible, the measurement should be taken with your fire suit, a chest protector, FR underwear, or any other cooling apparatus is on. If not, you'll need to add an additional one to two inches to the total measurement to compensate for the extra thickness. The measurement for females is done in the same manner, but is taken slightly lower. Place the tape around the subject near the bottom of the bra strap and below the breast. You should be wearing your fire suit, chest protector, FR underwear, and any cooling apparatuses. If not, add an additional one to two inches to the total measurement to compensate for the extra thickness. Please compare your measurements with our head restraint fitment chart to find the size that's best suited for you. Connecting the hybrid device to your helmet can be done using one of the four methods offered. Quick click, post anchor, M6, and standard quick release with D-rings. Just choose the design that best fits your needs. Since seating position varies depending on the vehicle and neck height varies between drivers, you'll need to adjust the tethers on the hybrid system for each application. To properly adjust the hybrid restraint tethers, you must be seated in the vehicle with the shoulder and lap belts fully buckled and tightened, just like you would during a race. Start with the back tethers first. Adjust them equally so that there is approximately one and a half to two inches of straight forward helmet movement. This movement is a chin up forward movement of the helmet. Next, adjust both front tethers to limit the side tilt movement. You'll want to tighten both front tethers so that the side to side free movement is limited to about a half an inch of tilt before they begin to restrict helmet movement. If you are using a helmet anchor system with the yellow quick release tethers, you should attach both pull tethers to the lower portion of your helmet's chin bar using the Velcro tabs. This will allow for easy reach and release. Isn't it amazing how something so simple can do so much for driver safety? Don't risk it, restrain it with a hybrid frontal head restraint system from Simpson. To learn more about Simpson's hybrid FHR restraints and to see our full line of safety gear, equipment, and more, visit us at simpsonraceproducts.com.